An 86-foot killing machine ruled the oceans for millions of years. But for decades, no one knew why Megalodon actually went extinct. Was it climate change? A giant snake like Titanoboa? Did the oceans simply get too cold? Nobody really knew. Until recently, scientists started looking closely at Megalodon fossils. They told a darker story. Deep bite marks. Massive. Placed exactly where a kill bite would land. Way too big to belong to anything else in the ocean. Then the picture came together. As Megalodons kept growing, the ocean didn't. Food became scarce. Scarce. Hunting zones overlapped, and a predator that size needs constant kills just to survive. There wasn't enough prey, there wasn't enough space, and there definitely wasn't room for more than one king. So they did what any apex predator does when there's no one else to fight. They fought each other. The ocean's most terrifying creature didn't get taken out by some new enemy. It didn't lose to anything unfamiliar. It was the largest predator to exist. It was hunted by something even worse. A bigger, hungrier version of itself. Kind of poetic, right? The deadliest predator in history. Destroyed by the one thing it couldn't beat. It lost to itself. Its very own kind. 